Hi there, join me this morning when I'm going to have a little wander around my local woodland. There isn't really a plan this morning. When I got up, I looked at the weather and saw that it was really mild, so I thought I'd have to get out and spend a couple of hours walking around my local woodland. Now, I am really lucky to have this facility very close to where I live, so I can come back at different times of year and see the wood in different stages of development during different seasons. And so it's great to do this kind of thing anyway in photography, to revisit locations, because you see lots of different things at different times of the year. And I know today, that there's lots of bird life about. I can already hear a woodpecker over in the distance and there's lots of bird life up in the canopy of the trees. And because we're only in late spring, there's no leaves yet. The leaves are only just starting to come out. So I should get a really good view of any bird life up in the top of the canopy. So I'm gonna have a wander around this wood and I know that I'm really gonna enjoy my photography. Now trying to photograph birds in woodland like this is quite tricky and sometimes it's a little bit of luck involved as well but there are things that you can do to try and maximise your chances of seeing birds. Now the first thing to do is not to be in too much rush. I know that there's lots of birds about because I can hear them in the trees and just as I finished filming my first piece to camera I saw a tree creeper but by the time I'd got my um, camera up to my eye the bird had flown off quite a distance away but I could have seen it flying backwards and forwards to the same location and then that would be a good thing to look out for um, so if you can spot patterns that's one tip and the other thing is just to stand still for a little while and wait for the birds to settle down and come back to you I've also come away from the main path a little bit as well to just give me the most chance of seeing some of the birds and photographing them Now today is really tricky, there are lots of birds about um, because I can hear them up in the tops of the trees but I'm just not really seeing very many of them. I have got uh, a photograph of a robin, um, now robins are really quite easy to photograph because they're quite tame but still um, in this light this morning which is quite overcast uh, it's quite difficult, I'm having to lift the ISO quite high to get any kind of respectable shutter speed um, so it is still tricky and you've still got to think about the composition as well so even though it was a robin I still had to move the camera about a little bit without trying to scare the robin so I didn't get branches in front of it as well. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you want to stay up to date with lots more photographic content including wildlife photography, landscape photography, tutorials, photoshop stuff then just click the like, subscribe and the bell notifications because it'll make sure that you stay up to date for everything that I release in the future. On the lake here behind me there are a few birds but unfortunately they're quite a long distance away. There's some Canada geese and some great crested grebes. Because they are so far away I'm going to have to crop very heavily um, to actually get them at any kind of decent size in the frame so the photographs aren't going to be of any great quality. So I've moved a little bit further around the lake um, because I thought I might get a better chance of seeing the birds from here and the Canada geese have definitely come a lot closer so I've definitely got some good shots of those but I also saw a cormorant sitting on the top of a post on the other side of the lake. I did manage to get a little bit closer to him from this location uh, but unfortunately um, again it's still quite a long way away and it did take off while I was watching it. I got some photographs of it in flight but they're not very good because the 
shutter speed was so slow because of the low light this morning um, that I don't really think they're going to be very good. Looking at them on the back of the camera screen, it does seem like they're a little bit soft and not really frozen the action because of the slow shutter speed. Um, but you have to take what you get in lighting conditions like this. I'm a little bit torn now to know what to do at this location. Um, I've just had a really close pass by from a um, mute swan. Now, unfortunately, it was so close that I couldn't even get it in the frame at some points with uh, my long lens. It was so close to the shore. Um, the Canada geese have gone further onto the other side of the lake, but the great crested grebes have moved around only a little bit further up this side of the lake. Now, I'm just wondering whether if I stay here a little bit longer, whether they'll move towards me or maybe they may go further away. But I guarantee that if I move further around the lake to where they are, by the time I get there, they'll either move or they'll scare them off. So I don't know what to do for the best. I think I'm going to stay here for a little while longer to see if they come this way. Unfortunately, the grebes didn't come back to my side of the lake. Um, they stayed hidden in some undergrowth where they'd gone to. So I decided to come back into the wood to see if I can see anything else here. Um, but I'm going to be gradually working myself around to the other side of the lake um, just to see if I can see anything on the way. The weather today is really changeable. Um, the sun is just starting to come out. We've had a heavy shower of rain, but that seems to have passed now. So I'm gonna walk around the rest of the lake through the wood to see if I can see anything else to finish the video. So just here on this fence post is some seed that somebody has put out and it's clear that the robins are used to this because in this area here I've got three um, shots of robins in very very quick succession. One on the top of this post, one on a post further down the path and also one in a tree that's in its natural environment so I quite like that one. Now I did get a comment the other day from Eric who is a subscriber that lives in Austria who said it's enviable how many hides and blinds we have for taking photographs of birds in the UK and I do admit we are spoilt especially with places like the RSPB and Wildlife and Wetlands Trust. Um, those are paid for in some cases and in others free but even at this public park um, there is a blind here where you can take photographs over the lake um, and it is worth bearing in mind just just how lucky we are to have these kind of facilities. I've come all the way around the lake, almost back to where I started, and with the sun being out, I have managed to see the Great Crested Grebe again and got a shot of that. Uh, there's also an Aylesbury Dock, I think it's an Aylesbury Dock anyway, again I might be wrong, but it's White Dock just here um, on the lake um, and some more hen as well. So I've got lots of shots from here and I think it's probably about time to start heading back towards the car.
This really goes to show just how important it is to walk around in this kind of situation with your eyes wide open to take your time and slow down because if you don't then you'll miss some really great sights and I have just spotted a nut hatch going in and out of its nest that it's built in a hole in the tree just up there. Now the hole itself is quite high in the tree and if I had just been looking down at ground level I would have completely missed it. So I will finish this video showing you some shots of the nut hatch going in and out of its nest and some photographs as well. What a great morning of photography that's been. I'm so glad that I came out. It started off really gloomy. Then we had a rainstorm in the middle of the session, but we've ended up with a beautiful start to the afternoon with some lovely weather. And I've capped it off by seeing that nut hatch going in and out of its nest in the tree. What a great day for photography. It just goes to show why I enjoy my photography. If you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Vero account, that's at Oakton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so head off over there because a the purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. And also, don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, go and check out this video just up here. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.